Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we back with another dope episode. Today is a, a special day for the city. When you talk about the podcast out here, I'll call him the Scotty Pippen out here, man. One of the top podcasts in the city. One of the. I'll give you your flowers, man. We got my man, Jen. I appreciate you, man. Jen from the Jen Podcast out here in the city, man. What's going on, my brother? I'm good. This is... uh. This is pretty dope to be a part of, bro. Yeah, just in this environment and people around here right now, it's, 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 it's a dope spot. I had to, you know, I had to come and bring you on to the bricks. Yeah. You can bring you down, man. So I mess with it. For the people who are not familiar, then y'all need to get familiar. Y'all yeah. don't know this man right here. Uh, who is Jen? So it's a, it's a podcast, man, based off of uh, life stories, advice, um, Man, 2020, I started it just to honestly kick some tires, man. It was nothing, nothing crazy. Just I felt like I had to, I had a story to tell. Most people do, but I felt like my story was different. My background, my experiences were different. So why not put it on a, a platform? Why not give to people and uh, hopefully help them in, in some type of way? Three and a half years later, we're we're here. What kind of got you to that point where you're like, I'm gonna start a podcast? Uh, so 2020, February, 2020, I got into a, a, a pretty crazy breakup. It was to a point where I, where I had these experiences more times often than not. So I was like, okay, well, something's got to change because it's not no one around me. It's, it's more than likely me. So I was like, okay, well, a lot of thinking, a lot of going back and forth, uh, just a lot of self-reflection. And yeah, it was one of those things where I had to sit down and and take note like hey this this problem is you there's something has to change and it's you so these these issues started to come into uh into into my mind and i was like if these issues are happening to me i mean how many other people out there are experiencing these issues and how can i be the person to to help those people kind of take what they're doing switch their choices and hopefully they come out better so, yeah, that was kind of the main thing. And then from there, yeah, just started getting advice, had family and friends on, people started noticing. I think a couple of uh, musicians reached out and then phew, we're here now, man. <laughs> so take us to that moment when you know that all right, you got a dope podcast, like when you know, like, hey, you know what, I'm... I'm the shit right now. Like, take us to that moment. I'll be honest with you, man. I, it probably still hasn't set in. I'll, I'll be, I'll be dead honest. Just cause hey, you can, I, you can pop your shit on my show, bro. Don't go nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real honest. <laughs> <laughs> it still hasn't set in. Like, I, I, I feel the love, and I see a lot of people like, like y'all's platform, and I see your platform, other people's platforms, and I'm just like, we, we, we come as a in the city of San Antonio, we come as a collective, but. For me, I, the biggest thing I want to do is just help people and, and make better decisions. So I'm like, my platform is, is, is for that sole purpose. I mean, there's, there's other times where it's, it's different, but I, I, it just, it, it never sits in, man. Like it really doesn't. Like I know sometimes people might say it's a, it's a top podcast in the city, but man, I, I, I just do it to help people, to be honest with you. No, you you you're the top one out here, okay. All right, man. It's okay to say, <laughs> man. You go ahead. Nah, it was all good. Do do you or has anybody ever told you that they feel like, you know, especially with our platforms that we have, a lot of people are trying to get on. Is there a perspective that people might think that you are gatekeeping to get on your show? I don't think so. I've never felt that energy from somebody else. I I, I know when we had our our podcast a couple uh, last month. We talked about the um, being available, how how your availability towards somebody, and I think that's that's what had to switch going further in the like as the podcast went on, because you can't be too available, because then people are gonna most people have shitty motives, and at that point you got to realize like, hey, what are these motives? I mean, are they really true to what they say they are gonna say? Do they kind of want to piggyback off what you're doing? And I mean, you have to take a step back, and you, like you said, you get some people in there like, hey where the fuck's my podcast? And you, at that point, you're like, whoa, hold up now. I mean, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I've been doing this shit. I, I, I do this shit more. Like, you, there's, no, there's no reason. Like, you can literally ask. And I think that there's, there's people like that, but there's other people that write paragraphs, literally paragraphs, explaining how I changed their life, 
literally down to the fucking the episode what i said and i'm just like holy shit this is crazy like there's never there's this is fucking crazy like literally last week i got a i got a fucking i got a message saying that um how i, I changed this guy's life within his family like i think i want to say about a year ago i did a podcast with um i'm drawing a blank but we started talking about family and family experiences and how you should be towards family and how when you're growing up you're not to have any type of uh, like survivor's guilt like if you're doing better and your family's not there's no reason why you should have survivor's guilt so i guess that situation helped them out a lot and i mean that just hit home for me because i think in a, i'm in a position now where i feel that a lot and it's just you shouldn't really feel that i mean you work hard enough you should kind of soak in the the ambiance of, of what you really do in life so i ain't never had another mark nobody tell me i changed their life i'm like i need to step my shit okay <laughs> that's that's all good so yeah. when it comes to you know as far as getting the guests and not necessarily a process but what do you look for when you know when you get somebody on your show that's a good question uh at first i'm gonna be honest at first it was just like just grabbing because I, I one I wanted the experience two I wanted to get known into the podcast world or even just the, the content creation world uh, but now it's just a creativity so creativity is meaning what are you doing different than somebody else is doing and are you excelling at it and you can tell who's excelling at it because one they're maybe posting more times uh, they're doing different doing something different versus a year ago especially if you've been following and that's the thing with me i'm the type of person to sit back and watch like i followed this podcast like three days ago and this girl just started a podcast like i want to say three or four months ago and she's like literally sitting on her bed just with like a like a yeti microphone and this is like me just being weird not that she's a girl but like i want to see how far she goes and if she goes far enough and she like starts to take her thing to the next level that might be something that i can reach out to and be like hey let's collab let's get you on here let's talk about the journey so stuff like that i i i kind of sit back and watch and i mean obviously if some someone's doing something big in the city i want to be a part of it i want to know the journey i want to know the process i want to know how I want to know the struggles. I want to know what it takes to actually get there because it not, honestly, it doesn't help. It can help other people for sure, but honestly, sometimes it helps me like kind of just figure out like, hey, I want to, if that, if that person is doing something good for themselves, I mean, what can, what can that be towards my life? Do you ever reach a point where you like, this shit's exhausting. I want to quit. Oh, I'm tired yeah. of this life. <laughs> All the fucking time, man. It's, uh, man, it's to a point where, I've had times where I'm just like, yo, this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. And some of this stuff we don't get money for. Some of this stuff we just we just do to do. Y'all hear that? Yeah, I and <laughs> and it's like, okay, you, you really gotta figure out like if you're in it for it. Cause if you're not getting monetary, if you're not getting something money for it, you gotta really sit down and figure out like, hey, this this stuff really you, you really gotta enjoy it. You really gotta love it. Cause I mean, if you're not getting money for it, I mean what, what what's the what's the point? What's the point as to where, like, if you really love it, then that shit, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm here, for, I'm here for a reason. And the reason why is the people in this room, because I've realized that you, these people beside me, behind me, have created a, a platform to go way beyond maybe what they expected and what you expected. And that's just, I want to be a part of. I told my girl on the way, or before, I, I said, like, these are people that, have one of the not, probably number the one number one podcast in the city and maybe the people in here is like you twos it's just it's so dope to be a part of i mean who wouldn't want to be in this room right now you know what i mean like it's just it's 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 a it's a crazy environment it's a crazy culture and uh yes yeah, it's, it's it's a it's a crazy time to be a podcast in san antonio now i know you know you know you know obviously you probably might not consider yourself a top podcast in the city but how do you keep yourself out of the mindset of hey i'm i'm the top guy here. there's a lot of people that stare at their motive they want to be the top guy they get caught of being the the popular guy in the city how do you kind of just separate yourself from the pack uh i just realized that someone's always gonna beat me 
like there's a there's a I was gonna say there's a voice in my head and this doesn't even pertain to like the podcast this is just pertaining to personal life there's someone always beating me literally like I, I'll, I'll say that to my girl and she thinks she probably thinks I'm crazy like I, I was I will say like there's someone always beating me there's someone always outworking me but who knows if they're really outworking me you know what I mean and that's that's kind of how I stay grounded and stay leveled. Is just someone's always outworking me. I mean, let me let me go harder. I was watching a, I was watching a fucking a Kobe TikTok. I think it was the day before yesterday, and uh, he was talking about how he listens to the Halloween theme music of um, just like I don't know, to Halloween themes music before each game. And you think about it, that's fucking crazy. Like, why would he do that? But he has to do that for, I mean, a lot of reasons biggest reason is to like go out there and and show people who he's worth and he has to go that far deep down because most people that go onto that court is is not going to respect him for I mean, whatever reasons so that's, it's even crazy to think that kobe has to actually do that even after long he's already created the whole legacy he created I want to transition to something else, and we got to name this person but we were talking off the camera yeah when you when you reach out to a certain artist like that and there's this perception that they are for the city and you know you you'll see them go on these platforms outside the city and when you reach out for them to come on yours that's in the city and they leave you on red does it do you get down at that moment moment or you keep it pushing no i keep it pushing i've been i've been told no all my life there's no reason why that that person is gonna fuck up what i got going on and it's not just them it's like they can be doing cool, like they can be, they can be doing their thing. They can be getting money. They can be like doing whatever on the side, of, other side of the world. I could care less, like really. I could I could literally care less. I have a thousand other things going on in my life that I mean that's just not one thing that's gonna stop me. I I'll tell you a situation that um, that happened like last month. I reached out to this person and uh, it was kind of one of those things where like I felt like I was. I kind of put my my ego up there, like, hey, let me just reach out to this person based on my platform. I feel like I'm 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 good enough to like get this person on. And uh, I said, hey, I mean, you're in the city, man. I w- I would love to kind of get you on the podcast before you head wherever you head. Um, and he, but like, what do you mean, like, talk on the podcast? And I was like, yeah, for sure. Like, it would be pretty dope to get you on there, talk about the journey, talk about the struggles, talk about how you got there, talk about what you're about to do next, and uh, left me on red. Left me on red, and I was just like, okay, well, at least you can say it's no. Like that's the that's the like bottom line. I feel like what I do and and like just personal life, like just giving that no and like giving some type of closure is kind of like the least someone can do when you're asking something. But I mean, I can give two shits, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Man. Y'all niggas stop acting too goddamn Hollywood, goddamn. Shit. <laughs> goddamn. And, and it's people you think that are not that kind of don't really have credibility, I, I guess. I mean, they might think they do, but for me, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm the type of person to be like, if you say no, I mean, I'm, it's kind of one of those things you said the last time, like the, we're talking about posting on Facebook and how it kind of, I feel like sometimes it gets annoying. But you, 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 you were saying that um, you're going to see it eventually. You're going to watch it eventually because at some point in time, you're, you're going to be at that level where either it's, it's on top of theirs or maybe the same level, so... Kind of similar. But then what happens, you know, it's gonna happen. They're gonna try to spin around on the block, and it's gonna be too late. Yeah. And you're gonna say, lead him or see, keep that same energy, big dog. Yeah. Keep that same energy, big dog. Now, when you obviously coming up potting, and it doesn't have to be in the city, but who are some of the people, you know, just podcasters in general that you're sitting back taking notes on and that you're studying? Anybody in particular? Shoot. Everybody in this room right now, for sure. <laughs> There's a uh, man. I'm, I'm be honest. I'm like the total. I wouldn't say the total opposite. Like I watch podcasts, but it's not to an extent where like it's um. Like you say you're a podcast junkie. It's not to an extent like that. Like I can't sit and watch a podcast. <laughs> uh, There's this dude though. Um, I don't know if maybe I'll be familiar with him, but I can literally watch his from from top to bottom. And I've been following his movement since like twenty. Not even twenty. It's like two thousand nine. Uh, so he, his name is Timothy, Timothy Delegato. He's an Asian guy out of uh, 
out of like, I want to say California, Los Angeles. But man, I, I remember he was like, yeah, like a, a name, name traffic, had like a rap name. And uh, he started like, I guess he just started going on Wild and Out. He started getting on there and then kind of made his moving into the podcast world. And he has a buddy named Rick and uh, Ricky Shucks, man. He's, they're, they're been best friends for like 15 years or I mean, maybe 20 years now getting fucking old but um yeah man i can watch his shit back to back so he's probably one of the like the person that i can like really re not relate to but like kind of go go off of because most of his like podcast is just fucking hilarious like, they'll be saying the randomest shit but i like i personally know the shit that they've been through and the experiences and the youtube videos and just everything so i can get it if you watch it just for the first time, you probably won't get it. So that's one of the things. Obviously, um, a lot of people might might kind of find this a little weird, but impulsive. I mean, I you, you can't ignore what fucking uh, Logan Paul is doing and the kind of movement he has going on. That's kind of kind of hard to miss in the content world. Um, I used to watch a lot of Joe Rogan. I used to watch a lot of Joe Rogan. I think when I started my podcast and uh, during during COVID, like the shutdown. There was a lot of like conspiracies about COVID-19 and shit. And he had like some doctors on there talking about it. So that really kind of got me into it. And then from there, it, it just took off. So I would think, I mean, that's pretty much it. You kind of, you kind of, your style kind of reminds me of Joe Rogan a little bit. Really? <laughs> your conversation. <laughs> I mean, in, I, in a good way. I good try way. to, I try to keep it personal. Honestly, I try to keep it to like my platform. I try to keep it really relatable to someone that can, I mean, just relate to it, honestly. I mean, I feel like if you got some type of a relationship with, with somebody, they're going to, it's a more of a connection. So, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more podcasts that I watch. I just can't name them off the top of my head. Like, if I go to my YouTube subscriptions, I can probably find some, but I mean, I can. I know we, we spoke on and off camera, you went to the Southwest. Yeah, I got a lot of, y'all got a lot of, y'all got some hitters coming out of the Southwest. I mean, Ace the Shooter, y'all got Hoodlum, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mario, I mean, the list going. Um, let's talk about just your relationship with Mario, man. Um, and just, you know, the journey with that. Yeah. So, man, me and Mario graduated together. And it's, it's funny because I don't know. I barely remember this. So I don't know if he would remember this. Uh, cause I mean, couple, couple shots to the head. You never know <laughs> what happens. <laughs> nah. Uh, he, we had a class together. I think it was my junior year, but it was one of those things where I was like in high school, I was very intimidated. I was shy. I didn't talk to nobody. Uh, so I didn't really know what what was going on with him. I didn't even know he was boxing until pff, I want to say 2015, 2016. So like this was after I graduated. Um, and it, it's funny, man. I always bring this up to the people I work with. There was like a a fighting ring that we kind of not we not me, but like the school kind of started. Like if someone wanted to fight each other, they'll put on gloves. They'll go on to uh, at the, in the back of someone's house and they would they would fight, right? But like no one, you would never see like a professional boxer there, which is, I mean, which is true. Cause why the fuck would a professional, professional boxer fight? Cause I mean, those are fucking, those are, those are uh, illegal at that point, right? The yeah. fucking hands are illegal. <laughs> but I always find that funny. Cause I mean, he would, he would, he would never fight, but I, I, I get it. Uh, but man, he's a, he's a down to earth dude. Every time I've, I've hit him up, every time I've messaged him, every time I just reached out in general, he's always shown love. He's. He's he's reposted my some of my uh, my reels, the pictures he's liked. Like he he liked one of my reels like two days ago. So just little shit like that, like he can just scroll past it. But I think he just sees the, I don't know. I mean, we'll find out next month, and I can ask him. But <laughs> I think he just sees the the movement and the grind. And it's uh it's it's kind of one of those things where you see people grinding, and you just you have to show love. I mean, because at that point, if you're grinding too, you know the struggles and you know how, how much hard work it takes. So it's like, well, fuck, I mean, we're both doing something. Might as well might as well show love. But, man, other than that, um, just down to earth, man. He's cool. He's dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that dude's putting on for the, the city and the yeah. major. I, I love to see somebody like that, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, come from nothing there, you know. go. You also went to a school with, with Ace the Shooter. Yeah, were you, were you, was he under under you or what's yeah. y'all's age gap? Yeah, so I think it's just about a year. We might be the same age. I don't know, but yeah, man, he's 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 dope too. The shit he's been he's been doing 
I mean, just around the city and then, uh, shit, I think what really caught my eye was when he started taking pictures for um, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich, yeah. Those were fucking crazy. That connection is, that's crazy. To what me. was Ace like at school, if you remember? <laughs> ah, man. I, I think for both of us, <laughs> we just we just had, we, we didn't really talk much because we were, I mean, I, I've always just had my personal group of friends, but like when we did talk, it was always just funny conversations. It was always just bullshit talk. I mean, it would be pretty dope to kind of get on, onto the, the platform now just to see the, just to talk about the growth. Yeah, but it was just always funny conversations. I mean, I feel like I'm a funny type of dude when it comes to conversations and I'm cool and I can like be myself. So, I mean, that's what it is. Now, if you, if you have a bucket list interview that, that you could get any interview in the world, who would it be and why? Oh, shit. That's a good question, man. I would probably, damn, can I take my time on this one? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, as much as I love LeBron James, I would probably have Kobe Bryant. And this is a, it's a crazy story because it was June 25th. I was watching a documentary, June 25th, 2020. I was watching do uh, his documentary on Prime. It was, it was crazy, man. The next day, I get a text message from somebody and it says that he passed away. And I was just like, what the fuck was going on? But I think... I think after that, that's when I actually fell in love with his, like, his mindset. Because, I mean, growing up, I, I was a huge LeBron James fan. Like, I'm, I mean, I still am, but I'm not really into basketball as, as I was once before. But after that, I, I, he passed. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up to say. I mean, but I kind of did a deep dive into everything that he did besides basketball. Like, I mean, fuck the basketball. Like, what's, what, what was this dude about? And... Uh, yeah, just took a deep deep dive into the mindset and found out who he really was. It was kind of one of those things where you, um, I mean, you want to figure it out because I mean that's that's Kobe Bryant. You, you you figure out the, the not only was he a fucking asshole, but he was asshole for a reason. Some of the some of the greatest, <laughs> like especially athletes. Yeah, a lot of them are assholes just in the nature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to be. I think I, for sure. I think sometimes you have to be because a lot of people don't get what you're trying to do. Like, a lot of people don't understand the type of mentality that, that you have to be to be that dialed in. And um, you kind of take offense to it sometimes. Like, I mean, there's just, there's just certain things in my life that I, I like to do and I love to do. And it, you just, you have to. I mean, there's just sacrifices you have to make. And I think, I think Kobe Bryant was a kind of pure definition of that. Rest in peace to the Mamba. Yeah. Well, still. For sure, for sure. One of the goats out there, man. Or the goat. <laughs> no, I mean, not the goat, but one of the goats. You know what I'm saying? You know what's, you know, oh, well, I know, Mozzie looking at me like. <laughs> you, know you know what's crazy about that conversation? I was having a conversation with my manager, and my manager, he's like, he's, I think he's 41. So he, he like grew up watching Jordan, and he was trying to tell me that, um, and I mean, I'm, my, my whole conception about like that thing is just like, I really can't say anything because I never watched him live, so I don't know. I mean, you can go back and you can see like shit on YouTube and the fucking um, documentary on Netflix, but I don't know. I feel like it's different. I feel like I would personally have yeah. to see it, sit down live, go to a game to actually feel what it was feel. So I personally, I've never really talked about it, but I mean, based off, I mean, based off the shit you see, I mean, some point in time you got to figure out. Some point in time you got to realize like, hey, he he might be the he might be one of the he might be the best. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jam Podcast um, is growing. Um, where, what's the next level that you're trying to take take this thing to? Um, I think, and this is a, a shitty part on my end. I think, um, I, I think I really, really want to start the merch. I haven't really done it, but. Um, Two years ago, I did like a giveaway for a thousand followers. It was probably one of the hardest times of my life during that like stretch from October to like October 2021 to like January 2022. So I never got around to delivering the merch or not even it was there was a good way for merch, but I was supposed to put out merch for um, after that. So that's first and foremost. Um, the other thing is being mobile. Like I want to be more accessible to people that are in Dallas and Houston. And I think if I if I do that, and we're talking about it too, I think if I do that, the obviously the brand grows, platform grows. Still really getting down 
to the people within San Antonio. I think that's going to be my main focus, whether if it's the highest of the highest or the lowest of the lowest. Because I think if you're down at low, it's one of those things where you can just, like I said before, it's just seeing the journey, seeing the grow. And maybe they don't grow. And then at that point, I mean, shoot them a message, say, hey, keep going or something. I mean, you never know what, what, what people are going through. So, yeah, lowest of the lowest, highest of the highs. And then that should be it, man. I know I want to, I have, I have business ideas. It's a time that fucks me up. It's a time getting to... Uh, that sometimes. time <laughs> that time thing is a mother. I, I, man, I got so much stuff that I want to do, and it's fine in the time, but then sometimes you don't have enough time, and it's trying yeah. to figure out how can you make time for it. Uh, but, Jan, before we got... I do this every episode, man. I got to give yeah. you your flowers. I think it's important, you know, give, give people their flowers while they stay. I love what you're doing, man. Like... I know you don't care about you being a top podcast. <laughs> you know, but I'm gonna say it like I do now, I, I, but <laughs> but I, I do feel that way. Just just the quality of the, what you do, uh, you know, your platform is different from mine. You know, saying your conversations are are different. You're standing out of the pack, man. I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you, man, and to keep keep the grind. And you know, what I'm saying like. You know, the door is always open here, you know, you know, we, we love, you know, here at the OCD, we really love what you got going on and we speak highly of you all the time, man. So, and whatever hate or criticism you, you get or stuff like that, or people feel yeah. like they owe you shit, you don't owe them shit at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> they tell them you don't, yeah. you don't owe them no interview, you don't owe them nothing, man. Don't, don't, because I think a lot of times is sometimes we might let the negativity get to us and then it distracts us from going forward man sometimes you yeah. gotta tune, tune the bullshit out man and, and just keep going 100 percent. yeah, yeah I, I appreciate it man the the invitation here was a no-brainer um there's a there's a couple of reasons why i'm here i mean the first and foremost the, the people in this room like i said earlier uh the platform the stuff y'all talk about i mean y'all talk about real shit too the, the the people on the other side of this room are talk about real shit on their platform so it's always just dope to be Especially with, if it's within San Antonio, it's always dope to see. I told you um, on air, if you ever need anything from me, man, you can always reach out. So I appreciate it, bro. Hey, well, ladies and gentlemen, another dope episode is usual with no other than my man Jim from Jim Podcast. If y'all not familiar, y'all need to go tune in, go subscribe, share all his episodes. If you're not, y'all seeing me at your front door. No, I'm just kidding. But look, hey, those weekly views, we out. Peace.